back and we are very eagerly awaiting for, of course, our guest, uh, Imran Amid, of course, uh, the YouTuber and also, of course, a nutritionist as well as a fitness coach. And he gave some uh, some excellent analysis yesterday. And I'm sure there's much to be heard about. Of course, the press conference, which I believe has already taken place uh, earlier on uh, this afternoon. So we'll be talking about that as well as, of course, uh, as well as, of course, uh, Craw- Crawford and his cap and his training and what's been happening there so far. But quickly, before we uh, before we go any further, Shaquille, I would like to uh, introduce uh, Brother Imran a bank. Brother Imran, Salaam Alaikum. Salaam, how are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Can you hear us tonight loud and clear? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Can you just speak up slightly, please, bro? We're just, it's a little low uh, on okay. our side. Okay. That's perfect, okay. exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'm working. Excellent. Thank you so much for, of course, giving us your time once again today uh, on this, of course, uh, what is uh, uh, seemed to be the fight of, uh, of course, of the year. Uh, we, we've got a couple of minutes before we go off to the uh, Maghreb Bazaar with Imran. And what we were thinking was maybe if you can just shed some light on the conference uh, that's taken place, the press conference that's taken place earlier on today. Maybe you can just shed some light on that uh, before we go to the Maghreb Bazaar. We've got about two minutes. Yes, it was, it was a good uh, press conference. Uh, there wasn't much needle in there. I thought there's been a few things said in the build-up, so I thought maybe it might be a bit more back and forth. But it seems both fighters were very respectful how it's been throughout the throughout throughout the the camp, really. So yeah, yeah, I was expecting a bit more fire, but there wasn't as much fire as as what I thought. I think uh, Amir Khan is basically saying that you know he wants to prove that he's one of the best fighters in the world, and that's why he took this fight. There was other fights out there. Uh, Terence Crawford saying he wants to continue to be the best fighter in the world and he wants to uh, beat Amir Khan and show why he is the best fighter at the minute in the world. So, yeah, there was. It. I think Frank Smith, I really like what he is, the matchroom um, CEO, the chief executive. He's the one that um, representing matchroom for Eddie Enns, Amir Khan's promoter. So he was representing Eddie Enns, wasn't there. So he gave a very good statement saying that uh, Amir Khan's always there to win. Um, and I, and he, he gave a very good speech in, in Khan's favor. So, you know, th- there's not been a lot of people on, in Khan, on Khan's side saying good things about Khan. Uh, I think this was obviously uh, a, a speech where he was actually saying that Khan's here to win and he's going to win Saturday night. So it was, it was very good from his, from his side. Bob Arum and, and, his, and Terence Crawford's camp are very confident, of course. They're the, they're the big favorite in the fight to win. So... It was. It, it, they're obviously expected to win, and they're, they're obviously very confident that they'll get the job done on the weekend. Yeah, definitely. And also, of course, uh, when you see majority of these press conferences, as you mentioned, there's there's a lot of uh, you mean to and fro going. Maybe you mean a lot of uh, banter and stuff, and people uh, yeah. calling each other all sorts of stuff. Uh, there wasn't any of that at all. It was uh, very very professional. Uh, what, what were your thoughts on that? Yeah, I expected there to be a bit of needle because Amir Khan has said a few things that my resume is far better than yours. Uh, so I expected there to be a bit of back and forth, but there wasn't really. Normally there is when there's a couple of days uh, left to the fight. Um, there's obviously they're making weight, so they're obviously either struggling as it is. It's very hard making weight because you're on a very strict diet. You're not drinking as much because you've got to make that weight on, on, on Friday. So, yeah, it was quite respectful. Uh, both guys are very respectful. They're, they're true gentlemen, both of them. So, yeah, there, there wasn't really no needle. I thought there might be, but obviously it hypes up the fight when, when there's a bit of needle. But these two are such big stars; they don't really need to hype up the fight. Yep, definitely, uh, brother Moran. Zakir, for for your initial thoughts. So we're going to come come back to you hopefully in about four minutes' time to start the Maghreb Bazaar. If you'd like to stay on the line, that'd be excellent, Zakir. For that, thank you. Yes, I was, of course, uh, Brother Imran, uh, Imran Amir, of course, uh, the YouTuber, sports nutrition.